To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Walt Disney spoke these words during the dedication of the Disneyland Resort in 1955. Are Super Bowl winners from the past years to be asked the infamous question, now that you've won the Super Bowl, what are you going to do? And the repetitive response being, I'm going to Disney World. Excitement ensues and has created a reputation of fun for all kids of all ages. And most importantly, us with some of the most amazing creations of movies and TV shows we all grew up loving. We all grew up watching Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Wizards of Waverly really Place, Hannah Montana, Sunny with a Chance, just to name a few. I told you that Disney is in fact not really magical at all to the young stars in these shows. Many are unaware of this type of abuse because the company of course was able to restrain actors from speaking out for many years due to their age, contracts they signed, or just some really good lawyers. An NDA is what almost every one of these stars had to sign, oftentimes before even seeing the script or knowing what they were getting into besides the fame and the cameras. An NDA is a non-disclosure agreement, which is a legal contract or part of a contract between at least two parties that outlines confidential material, knowledge, or information that the parties wish to share with one another for certain purposes but wish to restrict access to. Of course, kids being paid thousands of dollars to millions would not violate this because it is illegal to reveal trade secrets or sensitive company information to a competitor. It can carry legal consequences, including fines, even jail time, even if you don't sign an NDA. Birth, the light has finally been shown. Actors have come out stating a longevity of abuse, like emotional abuse, manipulation, lack of pay due to age, working long hours legally past child labor laws, sexualization, and forcing actors to participate in uncomfortable scenes or scripts. Attitude of chronic issues resulting from this, like criminal behavior, drug addiction, alcohol use, depression, eating disorders, and even suicide. Child labor laws allow a 17-year-old to work between 6 and 8 hours on set, but they have prohibit a 6-month-old from working more than 20 minutes under any circumstances. Here are a few examples. Demi Lovato, the star of countless Disney productions, suffered and still suffers from drug addiction, bulimia, bipolar depression, and a few criminal charges. Cole Sprouse, drug addiction, alcohol abuse, anxiety, depression, eating disorders. Selena Gomez, bipolar depression, anorexia, and anxiety. It is not a coincidence that all of these stars are coming out and talking about the abuse they received on Disney. Here's what Allison Stoner from Camp Rock said about her experience as a child actor on Disney. Hidden medical hospitalizations, artistic milestones, rapid adultification, and multi-layered abuse I wish on no one, I narrowly survived the toddler to train wreck pipeline. In fact, nothing was designed for me to end up normal, stable, alive. The toddler to train wreck pipeline is a notorious and thriving industrial complex around child entertainers. It was first documented in 1885 when Elsie Leslie made her theatrical debut at four years old, becoming an American celebrity at six. Since then, a full-fledged system has emerged. It's expertly constructed and it's bolted in place by censoring the harm happening behind the scenes, manicuring aspirational lifestyles and outcomes, and then watching young lives tragically implode. You may recognize the pipeline by specific press campaigns like Shocking Rebellion or Miraculous Comeback. It prophesies pitiful and shameful fates for little tots with big talent while conveniently remaining in denial of its own violent blueprint. Instead, the damage manifests as illness or questionable behavior and gets projected onto the child as if they are an isolated problem. Now this just Here is a podcast where Jennifer Stone and castmate David DeLuise from Wizards of Waverly Place tackle the topic. 
But you would have to, because we would have to give so many hours logged. So if like we went over and we couldn't get the three hours required uh, a day by SAG per day, they would pull from our bank of school hours. And also, while the kids you were mm-hmm. shooting, you would you would uh, rehearse and then go back to school, and you'd do school. like 10, 15 minutes yeah. of school, then go to work. So and there was a lot of times I wasn't in the episode, but I was on set because I was banking school hours. So that really sucked. Because at least if you weren't in an episode, you weren't there. Rather well, than me getting to see all the cool things they got to do and like all the fun you were having, and I'm just sitting there being like, well, algebra is great. <laughs> On top of these interviews and more information granted, we can see scenes where as viewers, we see everything as normal. But in reality, the young actors in them are extremely uncomfortable. Take Dylan Spross and Selena Gomez, for example. They both had their first kisses when they locked lips during an episode of The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, but it was far from perfect. It was my first kiss, and on camera, it was one of the worst days of my life, said Dylan. And you can now see the awkward tension. By Cupid's strongest bow, tomorrow truly will I meet with thee. Cool. <laughs> So what is Disney doing? Well, hiring some good lawyers, but not much more than that. You'll often see these interviews with the stars edited, deleted, and even sued for coming forward as defamation. The matter of the fact is, Disney is still thriving. They can say they took a hit from COVID like everyone else, but they are in fact still making millions every day. Many of the stars decide to not comment on the subject out of fear, but how could the happiest and most magical place on earth make someone feel like that? Turns out it's not all money, lights, and fame like the young stars once dreamt about when they were younger. It ended up being their worst occurring nightmare. Many actors have not sued knowing they will not win, but simply want to spread awareness and make Disney own up to their accountability. And shocker, Disney has yet to do that. While they are busy making millions off of other young actors the same way.